Hey guys, welcome back to the Past Money Plan. Today we're going to be reacting to this video by Tim Grover. Check out this video. Cannot be interested and obsessed. Interested is a freaking hobby. You think Michael Jordan was just interested in winning championships? You think Kobe Bryant was just interested in being the best basketball player in the world? These people are obsessed. But see, when we talk about obsession, we think of it as a bad word. When people say, I'm obsessed or I'm obsessed with something, oh my God, no. Let me tell you, all right, you know what obsessed people do? They give interested people something to talk about. You know what interested people do? They watch obsessed people change the world. All right, Kirby, this guy gives me, like, Dan Pena vibes. I like his message, but what do you have to say on uh, on this topic? That's all I can say is, wow. That was, that was amazing. That was amazing. And the thing, the before I get into the part that I like, this man understands people. Understands people. When he said the obsessed people gives interested people stuff to talk about, that's it. Like, I, how many times have you heard the words when you said, hey, I got to go do this. I got to do this. I got to go work. I got to go work on YouTube videos. I got to go work on a deal. I got to go. You know, I don't have time to do it. It's always the broke people talking about, oh, you got to have some balance. You got to go spend time and enjoy yourself. You're obsessed. They just interested in wanting more money. They just want more money. They don't take it as a section of they need to win. They need to win or they're going to, they don't understand that how much they need to grow the balance or grow the income in their life because inflation and by the time they hit retirement age, they won't have the uh, ability to not work because they won't have any money saved up or they won't have any cash flows or drips coming in to go with social security to make them survive. You're obsessed with it now, but those people who just interested and want, just want more money by doing nothing, They'll tell you, oh, you shouldn't do that. That was the part that really stuck out to me, but he's 100% correct. Obsessed people get it done. Interesting people talk about the obsessed and the obsessed change the world. And in our realm, I mean, I mean, when he's talking about obsessed and he's changing the world, but let's add some more people to that. Elon Musk. Everybody talk crap about Elon Musk because, oh, he slept in his office. Oh, he... He's obsessed with these, these cars and all these other companies. Everybody that's always talking about Elon Musk, good or bad, they're just interested. Elon Musk is in there on the grind doing it. I mean, we can add a lot, of, a lot of names to this. Warren Buffett. People that's interested in being billionaires, they talk about Warren Buffett. They talk about, oh, he's, he's 93. He needs to retire. How long can he keep doing it? What are you worried he doing what he loves every day. Every day. He doing what he's obsessed about every day. I mean, we can go on, you know, Mark Cubans. You can even talk about the shark. They didn't get here by, oh, let me let me have this perfect work-life balance when you're on the, on the grind, on the scene, trying to get to a plateau. Now, when they get to that level, work-life balance makes sense. But when you're on the grind trying to go – from zero to 100,000 or 100,000 to a million or a million to 5 million. You should be obsessed with getting there. Nothing else matters. I mean, kiss the kids, kiss the wife, good night, because I got to go out here and kill some. That's it. This is an obsession. I hear it all the time. But Alex, I, don't wanna, I know we try to keep these videos shorter, but go ahead. I'll let you run with it. But that was just amazing. Yeah, no, when I saw this video, I loved it. Um, and to shed light on his last point too, like obsessed people change the world. People, I think, not that I think, I know, people take for granted the world that we live in. They don't understand or can't or don't realize that it's beyond billionaires providing jobs. It's People want to tax these billionaires. They want to tax the rich. They want to take everything away from them. They're evil, this and that. These billionaires, these people that are obsessed, are the reason why 
you can have packages delivered to your door same day tomorrow. These people are the reason why you can sit at home and watch Netflix with your family. These people are the reason why you can get in a car and go to a grocery store that's also provided to you by another billionaire and pick up groceries instead of having to go out and harvest your own food and kill things to eat it. These people are the reason why you have the option to get gas for your vehicle. These people are the reason why you have clothes to wear. These people are the reason why you have a roof over your head. These people are the reason why everything these people are the reason why you can go watch a movie. You can go wear jeans instead of having to wear a full on suit or whatever like they do in North Korea. Capitalism is the reason why you live the life that you have. And so to want to take that away from these people that have changed the world literally is ridiculous. And that's such a talked about topic is that, you know, these people have too much. Why do you need a billion dollars? Why do you need this? It's not, rather than look at the money and say, oh, this person is attached to this amount. Look at what it requires to build the world that we live in. It requires trillions of dollars. So that person, unlike you, is reinvesting their wealth to create more. I mean, we see this actively with Elon Musk was a great example. He sold PayPal. He didn't just retire on the beach. He put it into Tesla and he put it into SpaceX. And SpaceX will be the future of this world, along with Blue Origin, which the Amazon founder did with Amazon, selling off a billion dollars a year worth of stock to invest in Blue Origin to create a future for the world. They're constantly innovating the world and looking for ways to improve the world. And literally changing the world so i loved when he said that because people always forget that these aren't just some people that just got lucky and have a whole bunch of money like powerball winners and they forward on to their money no they're people that use their money to continue to build and change the world yeah and that's people that sacrifice this is people he, these are the people that did the things that you wouldn't do these are the people that didn't think of a work-life balance I mean, Jeff Bezos, like you said, Amazon founder, Blue Origin founder. Um, he created that out of his garage. You know, just think of how many nights when, you know, his wife was going to work to, you know, keep the lights on. How many sleepless nights he had to create that to make that happen? His kids, the whole night. How much sacrifice had to be done? How much sacrifice... He had to do to do it, but think of the sacrifice that his wife and his kids had to endure with daddy not around. And I know, and I'm not even discrediting his wife because his wife was well, ex-wife, sorry, helped him tremendously on creating that business. So she was working a nine to five, then she would come home, take care of the kids, then help help in the garage making Amazon uh, what it is today. Look at the sacrifice, sacrifice on both ends. I think the I actually think the wife did more sacrifice because she had to do the job to take care of him also. Yeah. But I'm dealing with those kids, you know, me and kids. <laughs> All right, but anyway. But yeah, but that's, but think of the sacrifices that had to be made over and over again. Look how much those kids had to grow up and endure and not, you know, everybody here, they, these, they kids see them at least 8, 10, 12 hours a day for the normal average everyday job. And their kids are no better for it. They just all sitting on the couch, uh, eating popcorn, uh, getting fat, doing nothing, and barely got money to the end of the month. And these people making sacrifices, kid probably seeing their dad one or two hours a day, max, maybe one or two hours a week, max. But the sacrifice was worth something. People don't want to sacrifice and get everything. And then get mad at the people who made the sacrifice and want to take what they made. How about you get off your butt to make a sacrifice to make it happen? That's all of that. Absolutely. With all that being said, guys, if you like the video, hit the like button. Leave a comment down below. Let us know what you think on this video. Share this video. Subscribe. And we'll see you guys in the next one.